All right, welcome back, welcome back. We are back in uh, Phillip Island. This is part two of my big lap. I decided to uh, try and make this a little um, less laggy because the internet went down before. But uh, let's give this a try. Uh, if you guys can give me a sound check, make sure the sounds are still all right. My microphone's not too loud and Big Jacko is already here. Uh, I think we seem to be doing okay on Twitch. So that's good. Uh, YouTube is still delayed for me. There we go. Thank you. All right. Uh, is this the one? Yes, it is. Welcome, everybody. Aquitania. Hello. Welcome. I'm not sure if I pronounced your name uh, correctly there. Aquitania. Very nice. Uh, Tada, says Icarus. All right, cool. Now, we still got Cool Monkey in his F-22 being swallowed by a C-17. Uh, I have been buzz several times by a desert soldier in his f22 and there we go we've got a wheels wing what is a wheels wing icarus i'm interested you know what i'm going to get in the air dale says it sounds good Let's see do we have our park brake on no we don't okay get back down on my normal view yeah i think i came in no, it's just a crosswind. Oh, I came in on tailwind. That's why I was my landing on the last one was so bad. That and it doesn't look very smooth here, but yeah, 100% tailwind. No, headwind. Now I'm taking off on tailwind. Oh, you idiot, Brett. It's the other way around. All right, we can do this. We can do it. I read those socks the correct way. That was a tailwind takeoff. So there was a decent headwind. Oh, I should have been able to come in and stall that and no problem. Anyway, let's get back on this uh, flight. Uh, I'm going to get myself over to... Uh, let's get a little bit of height here. Oh, I'm getting buzzed there. All right, Big Jacko, hello and welcome to another Brett Plays video. That's right. You can put in exclamation Brett, I think. No, wait. No, exclamation hello. That's what we need. Exclamation hello. Where is this racetrack? I thought it was over this way more. Oh, I'm offline, that's why. Okay, so let's get that back on and I'm gonna pause for a second. Uh, when the internet kicked off before, it turned off my Bing Maps. Hey, there it is. Hello, welcome to another Brit Plays video. The UFO, mate. Are you in the UFO? Is that what it's called? Um, I think I took the UFO out of my uh, playlist, and I'm sure the racetrack's down here somewhere, and because that kind of looks like it there, actually. Cool Monkey's right over it. Uh, but because my internet went off before, I did, forgot to turn it back on. So we're not going to see it after all. Ah, oh, what a shame. Alright, though, fuel. I did sit on the runway for a little while, but we're still pretty good fuel both ways. We do have a couple other little airports we can stop off at, and we might... Um, I saw comments on the previous stream that Vruden's like, oh, he's farming likes. Yeah, no, I, I got better things to do than farm likes. Um, but we will get our plane on the right pathway. Um, but yeah, hit the like because it tells other people. I think we've lost the 20 something people we had uh, watching, which is a bit of a shame. But we were five minutes behind. Now, We've lost Philip Island's uh, beauty in Bing Data. Hopefully we'll get Melbourne uh, and we get to see some of the stuff that's in there. I'm not using photogrammetry though. Uh, photogrammetry sucks the internet even more. But we will see the, um, the custom buildings and stuff. Also, I am on Twitch. I hope that my Twitch 
messages come through. Hello all. No, it's just me. <laughs> okay, it works. All right. Um, I don't usually use Twitch, but uh, I've decided I can stream to both. Uh, some of the other guys have been uh, teaching me how to do that. And I'm glad that my um, sound list is working. The music seems to be running. We still have the information up the top of the screen, do we? Yep. So we're about halfway, give or take. Essendon's probably about halfway. 46%, there we go. I've already got a percentage there. The green line you can see at the top of the screen is actually the progress line. So I've set it up so that you can tell how far I am into it, not just with the percentage, but uh, by following that green line. So... How is it everybody going and welcome for those who are coming back? No, I'm not farming likes, Rudin, but you are welcome to hit the like button. And I have no controls. Uh, Xbox control is not working. What happens when I disconnect it? Probably not much, but when I reconnect it, this is where it goes. Controller, do you want to edit it? No, it doesn't. Oh, good. It does work. Cool. All right, now we can look around. Okay, here we go. Now it's going to go. No. Okay, good. I really do like the livery on this. Yes, it does look like a McLaren uh, race car at the moment with the papaya. Sus duck. I'll make sure you say that right. Um, Vruden, mate, you're welcome to uh, follow this. We're, we're going to sit around about the 3,000 feet. What am I? Just under 3,000. See our barometric pressure change. There we go. Just getting back online. What fuel are we using? And can we use both? Nope. Okay, it's either left or right. Okay, we'll stick with uh, left for now. It's either left or right, uh, but not both. Uh, no controls equals boom. Uh, no, it's just the the US um, the USB plug in the Xbox controller. Uh, I just had to take it out, and put it back in. I do have flight uh, controls, um, but not for the uh, moving the camera around. Or there we go. There's me getting escorted with an F22. Icarus coming up behind. And the P40 now. Okay. Danger bird. I can't see everybody. Should we go back to West USA? Has anybody tried it? Um, I need to go get a beer. I forgot on the way home from the lodge. All right, mate. Go grab yourself a beer. I'll probably be here for another hour or thereabouts. Dang, doesn't look too bad. What does it look like from down below? There you go. Just an F-22. That F-22 is huge. Look at this, traveling across the ground. That's weird. Let me just bring it back up. All right, cool. Now we are going to the port of Melbourne next. So when you come in on the National Highway 1, you will actually come in through the uh, the heads here. The boat does a right turn and comes all the way over to a deeper area here and then sails down the middle of the harbour. And finishes up pretty much about where we're going to fly over, somewhere down in here. I wonder if we'll see it. They probably I don't think they model it, but I think they might have like the shadow in underneath the water Which is a disappointing view of uh, how those things work Sea fit What is a sea fit? CFIT what does that stand for I wonder Ambient 
and or should it not be written down? All right. We are flat out. We are actually flat out. Let's bring that back a fraction. What's my ground speed? 199 knots. Is that actually updated or has it... No. Has that stopped? I think it has. Let me close it and then rerun it. Start that again. Controlled flight into terrain. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, all right, so is that... Okay, now I'm doing 180 knots. Man, there is a decent headwind then. Um, and I need to put in my... Information again. Okay, that should put that green line. Look at that, that's shot up. Okay, cool, we're at 50%. We are halfway. But now we get to see more than just water. Yeah, well, okay, maybe not right at the moment. <laughs> uh, but we can see the land. There's a decent inlet. Where's that? I wonder. <coughs> Moorabbin direction, is it? Wow, they really bring the water in there. All right, we're heading in to a Melbourne, but we're not stopping off at Melbourne International. Uh, that's how I fly. <laughs> Control flight into terrain. Pilot error. Yeah. I hit the ground with a drone. Yes, I did. Uh, I actually technically was flying it on the ground. Yeah, no, I wasn't. It was dragging along. So like this, you can actually go right down to the water. Although, you know what? That is way too slow. Let's take it somewhere in the middle. There we go. And then you can watch it from the water. Oh man, I need one of those mute buttons things you can get. Whoa, that was pretty low. Whoa, yep. Dashman Gaming, hello, hope all is well. Are you running at 1080p? I am actually running 4K, but down streaming it to 720 because my internet sucks. Um, although technically right now I am using mobile phone data and probably could actually get this back to uh, 1080 for you guys. Um, but we already had internet go down and I had to, yeah, thanks, um, Big Jacko. I need one of those buttons where I can just press and it goes mute. But I... Alright, going to get myself a stream deck, uh, probably coming up next month or so. Um, I have been looking at trying to do my sound. Hopefully my music's not too loud for you guys, because I currently can't hear it, uh, because I've had to uh, run it through an artificial, um, uh, virtual, sorry, virtual uh, cable. Uh, but I don't, I'm not wearing my headphones to monitor what the sound comes out as. So, 
Yeah. If so, if you guys can let me know that music's okay. Uh, I've got my camera back on. Am I still 30 seconds behind? Yeah, probably are. Um, so, yeah, to answer your question there, Dash uh, Man Gaming, um, I'm running at 4K, but I am uh, using Streamlabs to stream this, and I've got it compressed to... Um, 720 for the stream only. I wonder what Melbourne's going to look like without photogrammetry on. Because that's what we're coming up for. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to keep an eye on my internet speeds. This is where you're going to get it sucking the internet back down. So we're sending fine. Alright, so when you come in on the National Highway 1, you know what? That white ship is wrong colour, but that is pretty similar to what the Spirit of Tasmania looks like. I don't suppose that's meant to be it. It just has red paintwork. Oh, excuse me, hiccup. But that's about what it looks like. Sounds all good, Sean. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, although it doesn't have the swimming pool type thing, if that's what that is on top. Um, but that's about what the Spirit of Tasmania looks like and it docks here So when you are traveling to Tasmania, is that the Westgate Bridge? Or is this it here? That's the Westgate Bridge there, isn't it? Well, you think that one would be All right, if you're going to drive the National Highway 1 you jump off the boat uh, you do you actually go down here and then I think you come back up through here uh, Follow the ring road and then you head north It's a spirit of Tassie Yes, it is. All right. There's a uh, Albert Park, so that's the Formula One uh, track around there. So basically they run around this um, park so Albert Park I'm not on photogrammetry. So just be aware of that. This is uh, this is all stock Looks like I don't have an add-on for Melbourne. I used to. Uh, I had a Google one, but you'd be seeing one frame at a second um, from that one. Yarra River looks pretty dirty. Actually, that, that's pretty much what the Yarra River looks like. It's got lots of uh, uh, tannin in it, I think it's called. Yep, Westgate, Westgate Bridge. At least they've modelled it, didn't quite uh, join up, but um, yeah. So you, you drive out from there. We I usually just go around here and you get yourself uh, somewhere down here, I think. And then you can get on and then up over the bridge and we make our way up the main road so that goes past Essendon altogether does it no we'll keep going up that way and um, we'll get ourselves onto the ring road and around Melbourne and then head north so I was in uh, Vic when Westgate collapsed did the Westgate collapse wow not that one but obviously the old one well, there's Melbourne for you um, unfortunately Melbourne is not getting a lot of glory to be honest so you've got a few, you got a few places there. A few places have been um, custom made, a few buildings. But I heard last night people were saying that Melbourne is getting made by Orbix. So there might actually be a um, Melbourne CBD and/or slash airport being made. All right, Essendon. All right, I do have an Orbix. Um, fun with friends and it looks like they've set it up so that you can fly in and around here as a racetrack um, so those who do have fun with friends um, racing will see the pylon racing around uh, wow it's a, it's hot oh, it's a figure eight. Oh, that is awesome yep not going to go there today um, I don't have Essendon Airport so this is stock with the Orbix Fun with Friends stuff. 
Uh, Westgate killed like 10 workers in the building of it or when it collapsed. And when, did it collapse when they were actually built or during disc construction? Oh, yeah, it did say that. Oops, didn't see that bridge. Yeah, saw you down there running into it. Travelled bike. Okay. Alright, so I don't need to stop off at uh, Essendon if you guys need to. Uh, let me know. Cool Monkey's doing a climb to the sky. Alright, fuel is just above half and I am going to equalise this. Alright, now we want to follow the highway as much as possible, so I will probably get off um, off my controllers. Oh, we're getting... Oh, well. Close to Melbourne, then. Oh, I lived in Laverton. Right. Well, my brother lives... Where are we? Somewhere over there. Somewhere in this area, I think. And my mother lives somewhere up over that way. And then um, cousins and, and aunties down that way somewhere. So, and, and sister over, way over that way. Um, so yeah, I've got relatives that live here. G'day bro, if you're watching. Two fathers of kids in my school were killed. Oh man. Yeah, that is suck. Didn't hear about that. All right, we're watching the fuel. I think we're good. Uh, so the next point we are going to. So we did the climb out. We've gone through Essendon. Now we're going to Mangalore and then to Aubrey. Cool. But the plan is to follow this National Highway One. Now, have I got myself onto National Highway One? Uh, I think this is about Epping, isn't it? Looks like it. Yeah, that's the main road in. Uh, oh, that's a bypass now, isn't it? Yes. Okay, there's your first service stations and stuff that you go in. Actually, that's the main road in. Cool. As long as we can keep an eye on where the main road goes in. Where does that go? That goes out west more, does it? Oh, is that the bypass now? It bypasses this main road in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still gets onto the ring road, which is pretty cool. So I think the Hume is this one here, which is what we're going to follow. Uh, they have been doing a lot of work down here. Actually, they've been doing work on on roads and construction for years. Look at Melbourne expanding out, eh? Might get myself a little closer to that road. Now, where's my Google Maps? Uh, so I think we've gone, it's the road through Epping is the one I, um, follow down, is it? No, Beveridge, Dunnington, Craigieburn, Campbellfield, and then onto the Ring Road. Alright. And they all seem to join back up at Heathcote Junction. So when these two roads get back up here... Cool. Yes, I am a raft brat. Uh, Dad went to Point Cook. Cool. Laverton Primary. So it's a long time ago. Welcome, Drew, mate, uh, new sponsor. Oh my God. No way. Welcome to Tier Three, and welcome to the. You know what? I need to change that and get a Jedi thing come up. I do have some sounds for that. I will look at doing that. And thank you very much, Drew, for joining the membership. Um, I don't have my Discord open, but uh, if you're on my Discord, I will give you access to that. You can also, as a member, go and check out some of my members-only videos, uh, if you wish. 
But um, a good morning, mate. It is still morning, isn't it? Yeah. 10.41. I'm getting a bit of turbulence here. Uh, I might go down and fly over the Hume more. So I'm just going to get off autopilot here. Replays, uh, still awake. Are you doing the research for Australia heavy haul trucking sim? Uh, we need these roads you follow. Um, I have driven this Hume Highway many a time. I so want uh, Australian truck sim. That would be awesome. But um, I've driven this road so many times because my mother lived in or lives in Melbourne or Victoria, but Melbourne now. And um, I lived in Sydney. So I'm going to hold there. Thank you. Uh, and um, as soon as I was able to uh, get a, uh, a vehicle, uh, I used to drive down to visit my mum every holidays I had. Um, used to travel up and down here on coaches. Dad was at Leverton during the uh, doing the Get Loop Base Squadron Rads 1AD Rinse and Repeat. Okay, that stuff doesn't make as much sense for me, but I'm sure it does for you guys. USSR Onion. <laughs> um, let me know if we need to change off East USA, uh, whether West USA works now, because I'm missing some of you guys, uh, such as Sean. I know he's probably flying and he probably can see me, but I can't see him. Oh man, I am booking it. I wonder what our wind's like. Let's see if I can get that part on. Look at it, shaking away. This will be the quickest Hume Highway run I've done. They have an add-on mod for Australia ATS. Uh, they do have some. Is it the payware one you're talking about or freeware? And if it's the freeware one, it's not very big. Um, so need some help. But that would be cool. There is also a Tasmania one. Um... That's pretty cool as well. Uh, not as cool as though the Longford um, old GP uh, racetrack that uh, someone put on my Discord under a set of Corsa. Uh, it's Longford in Tasmania and it is uh, supposed to be pretty good. There's a, just a couple of glitches according to some of the uh, comments. But um, they've almost put it tree perfect. As in they put in the actual trees that are there on the roads and stuff so it's like wow uh, when I was young I was a cadet at Point Cook very cool what server Sean I'm still on East but if we are having trouble seeing each other we can go to West USA again and give it a try at the moment I am pretty much shadowing the whole Hume Highway in this cute little plane, but man, am I getting rocked around. There's a bit of turbulence. It does wind a bit. I guess there's a few hills going out. Wow, look at that F-22 down there. And I also need to work out where we are. Um... I might zoom out on my uh, VFR map. Yes, I'm definitely uh, turning here. Um, I used to swim at Pier at Point Cook. Cool. Never been to Point Cook. I did do uh, work experience though at uh, Richmond Air Force Base. So RAAF uh, Richmond um, out near Windsor uh, in... Um, New South Wales and climbed in and out of uh, Hercules uh, aircraft taking photos because I decided I wanted to 
well, I decided I wanted to join the RAAF and I was into photography at the time. So, yeah, I think uh, Brett's in East USA. I am in uh, East USA, but I don't see everybody. I only see Danger Bird, Cool Monkey, and I could see Icarus before, but I've lost him now. All right, let's hold the altitude and direction. You seem to be wanting to go to the left. Don't go to the left, thank you. Sorry, to the right. I need you to go to the left. All right, hold altitude, cool. Pizza! Did you bring pizza? Russian bot bing bring pizza. <laughs> You need to bring the pizza. So all the members can smash the pizza icon and go, if you're gonna chat on Brett Plays chat, you need to bring the pizza. Did you bring the pizza? All right, and if you're not a member, you can find the little pizza slice. You just get a slice of pizza from non-members. Uh, it's in the uh, icons. But if you're a member, you get the full pizza with a slice ready to be taken out. <laughs> What's the name there? Not gay yet. <laughs> uh, people's people's names. I, I'm going to point them out when I see them. All right. Where are we? Uh. Heathcote Junction, further north, Bradford, Tullarook, Seymour will be off to the right. I think we're landing, not not landing, I think we're going through, through there. Puckapunyal will be over there somewhere. So the um, training grounds for the uh, Australian Army recruitment is at Puckapunyal. So yeah, I did. Um, I did work experience at RAAF. I actually lived in a navy um, housing area. So all the neighbours um, of mine were um, navy officers, mostly in the submarines. Uh, so I grew up learning a lot about navy stuff, and I did actually apply to join the navy, and was planning on being on submarines even though I am a quite a large guy. Um, six foot, I don't know, one and a half, whatever it is. Just behind DB. Uh, I, I'm sure I would have been like bumping my head all the time the submarine. But um, yeah, didn't end up uh, going into that, which is probably probably a good thing and or a bad thing, I don't know. I was going to do um, what's called a greenie. Greenie is an electrician. So uh, I looked at doing that when I was younger. When I say younger, I'm not talking about when I was 20. Armor training is at Pakapanyong. Yeah, isn't all of the recruitment, uh, isn't all the uh, recruits go there for <clears throat> basic training? All right, so what do we say this airport was? Mangalore. So we're following the Hume Highway. This is the big lap. We will go past Seymour. I don't know if this is Seymour here. But it is on the right hand side. Look at that F-22 trying to go slow as well. What we might do is we might uh, descend. I'll tell you what, this would be nice in VR. I definitely got to get, okay, back to the VR chat. Uh, I don't know if Rudin's even watching anymore. Um, but I've been looking at getting software so that I can read your chat uh, in YouTube. 
subs have clean air unlike the surface ships. Huh. Yeah, I guess it's filtered. Um, but yeah, I was going to be a greenie. The hum. What is the hum? I dig the plane and feel like a troll, but what is that handsome bird you got there? Right, so this is the RV7. RV7A in tricycle gear. There is actually a tail dragger as well. Um, so this is a freeware uh, available, available for PC. Uh, no army basic is at Kapuka. Oh yeah, yeah, in, w in Wagga. Uh, RAAF's at the RAF Wagga, just up the road. I thought Pakapunya was where they did basic. Okay, maybe, it's, maybe it is armor. I know the Navy does something in Melbourne, um, or used to, because uh, that's where I was looking and having to go. I can't remember the name of it now. But they teach you not to drown by throwing you in a big swimming pool and um, of a fake ship and then flooding it. But you're meant to learn how to uh, deal with that. They don't just throw you in, <laughs> otherwise you, you'll drown. But um, yeah. So yeah, true, mate. Um, this is the RV7. I've chosen the tricycle rather than the tail dragger version. Uh, I am not going to go under that bridge. It didn't go successful when I did the Tasmania flight. Uh, I am in the analog only version. So, so it's free, but there's also another version with touch screens. Um, but I, I chose the old school uh, analog gauges because I thought it was nice. Um, I have done a quick review on it. If you look on my channel, um, the link is in the description of that video. Uh, Flightsim.to is where you want to go. And there's about uh, four, I think it's four liveries. Wow, look at how we are crabbing sideways. We've got a decent, decent headwind here. Anybody going under? Mm, yep, yeah, cool monkey. No, he's over. Oh, he's crabbing sideways too. Oh, we got a decent wind here uh, for basic training. Um, all this freeware seems suspect to me. Freeware, a uh, wise man once told me, if the product is free, you are the product. Yeah, no, I think when it comes to planes and freeware, like um, FSX set the precedent, actually no, FS2002 and then 2004 uh, and then FSX, um, people like to make planes that they like to fly and then they share them. Um, they often get help with it. Wow, look at the amount of uh, wind turbulence. I wish I knew how how the wind was going I don't think I have that information on this screen no but you can definitely see when we get pushed sideways uh, I do need to keep an eye on the fuel left gauge is going down when we get to half we'll change back to the right uh, Navy Basic is at Cerebus South in Melbourne. Uh, one RTU moved to Wagga 10 years back. Right. I'm guessing Wagga is uh, the main place. You know what? Let's go and have a look over where Icarus is. There is an airport there. Or maybe we'll just climb. We'll stay basically uh, over the Hume. But that's the airport that I chose as a uh, waypoint because it was close to the Hume Highway. And Hume Highway being National Highway 1, which is what we're following here. Cool. Yeah, Navy is at Cerebus. Uh, all mine are free. 
Cause I'm free. Actually, no, not all mine are free. I have bought way too many. Um, is this Yoroa? I wonder. Can you go back that way and then hold? Thank you. Yep, cool. Uh, pay for airplanes. Did you switch servers? No, I didn't, sir. Um, I haven't. I'm wondering if West is fine or should I stay on East? I mean, I just can't see a couple of people. Uh, but we couldn't see anybody. Look at all the trees in amongst the uh, main road here, which is pretty cool. Uh, whoa, wait, was that Euroa? Seymour. No, that's Seymour. Okay. It, wait, hang on. When did we do the turn? Was that Benella? No. I don't know exactly where I'm up to. Probably should have been tracking that. Last airbase for me was 2FTS Pierce. What is 2FTS Pierce? Alright, there's the highway. So this is actually the road you drive between Melbourne and Sydney. Uh, double lane, separated. Lots of trees, especially this area, lots of trees down in the middle and a few uh, pullover rest stops. I don't know if that's one there or not. No. But um, there's these little um, areas for uh, bathroom pullover. Look at Cool Monkey. I'm thinking that car's going pretty fast. No, that's a plane. Uh, do you have the tree mod? No, but I heard about that last night. What's the deal with this tree mod? I bought the cheapest version of a sim spent my money on hardware. Yeah, good on you, Rudin. I bought the most expensive and stuck with my old hardware to try and get the most out of it. I am getting blown sideways. Can we turn this up a little? Uh, so, Sean, did you serve two? I did 14 years as a shiny buttocks. Sean, I was joking. Love those guys. I don't understand why people rip into the creators of free stuff. Uh, they do it for free and spend lots of time uh, getting it sorted. I'm surprised there's still creators out there. I'm surprised that there's people that still share free stuff. Um, I'm also surprised that Xbox slash Microsoft lets some of the people share some of the creations without first checking what they've done to them. Like, some of them are woeful um, and should never have been shared either. I think this particular plane here is so much better than some of the other garbage that is for sale on the marketplace yet it's free there might be another reason for that the creators of this aircraft have done it for free and don't have to buy a license to actually replicate and put this out there for people to um, have sometimes that's an issue for a lot of people though i really much doubt um the people who created the a10 in the marketplace uh pay any license to uh, and who owns who owns the A10 now? It was a Fairchild's Republic, but did Boeing buy that out? Can't remember. Boeing pretty much bo bought nearly every single um, aircraft manufacturer out now. But um, I very much doubt they paid for it. Licensing fee that is, because a lot of those um, airline places want a licensing fee. And if they did, maybe that's why they're charging so much for it. Good Icarus buzzing down there. Do you know what? I 
we'll stick with East USA for now, though we're how many other people put in put in chat a um a number one for National Highway One, a number one if you are flying with me. There we go. That's what I want. A number one. If you are following the National Highway 1 and you're flying with me. 2 FTS equals 2 Fly Training School. Okay. Ah, yeah, Sean. Because of your eyesight, that's right. Sobo got so busy they used automatic checkers and some bad stuff uh, gets through. Well, let's hope that that's what happened. Um... But hey, if you want free stuff, uh, here's a plug from, from me. Um, check my videos. I, I do as many freeware reviews as possible. Uh, I flew for six years, got diagnosed with a heart condition. Ooh, got a fix. Now I have a heart condition and they don't want to let me fly. Well, that kind of sucks. I got two flyers. All right, that looks like Euroa, is it? And this is the bypass. Possibly. I think Benel is a bit bigger. Yeah, this is Euroa. My uh, grandmother used to live here. Used to actually go through town years ago. I mean, same with like Route 66. All the roads used to go through. Now this one just actually bypasses by, I guess what you would call going through farmland. Well, was farmland. Probably still is farmland. All right, I got three people flying with me. Yep, I can got three people. Okay, Sean's the only one I can, can't see. Uh, I, I actually know that Icarus is flying with me. Dale, Dale, are you Danger Bird GT? I can't remember. River through here, I reckon, would be the lifeblood of this town. Which is probably why there's a town made on the coast there. I say on the um, shores. <coughs> it's pretty dry out here. <coughs> oh. The Doom Dryway. Dieway, oh yes, Hume Highway, or Dieway as you call it. It is fairly dry. Uh, yeah, <coughs> too lame. I'm with you in spirit. All right, Vruden, mate. Did you go off and get your beers? Bees, 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 bees. Can't can't help but think of uh, Jimmy Rees, the guy who uh, does his short videos about uh, what's going on in Australia. I am uh, six o'clock low. Okay. I might do a little uh, swaparoonie and just see what West USA is like if I get anybody. Uh, we had no no other planes and no um, name tags but we are missing some people so look at that 19 milliseconds you reckon I'm really getting 19 milliseconds to the East USA that's pretty awesome right I'm on just on west at the moment I'm gonna give this a quick um, go Get on the bees. Hello. Uh, can you show the map? Yes. This is where I am at now. So there's Melbourne. Uh, that's... Um, what do we call it again? Mangalore. And I'm on my way to Aubrey. And, okay, West USA seems to be still down. I cannot see anybody. And normally you would actually see... 
just generic. Okay, no, I see someone. I see a wild one. Okay, I see another one. Avalon. Okay, no, they're popping back up. If you guys want to swap back over to West USA, uh, I already have the beers. Where have you guys been? <laughs> I'm very efficient. All right. So we're probably about oh, 30 seconds behind on stream. I'm guessing for um for YouTube. I think uh, Twitch is a little bit ahead uh, because there's less of a delay there. Cool monkey crashed. Ah, oh, sorry, crashed. Cool monkey. F22 down. There goes another one. Okay, lost everybody. Uh, my my words of going to West USA might not be a good idea. If you're going to spam, can you um, can you bring the pizza? Pizza, please. Love face. Pizza. You bring the pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Ta-ta! Goodbye! Okay, West USA dropped out and I've got nothing. Oh, I've got a Bajoon. Uh, I think I'll go back to East. So, um, guys, before you jump over... Yeah, it's not... Let's get that out of the way. 23? Serious? It'd be nice if it's 23. Um... I must admit, in my younger days, I have done some ridiculous speed runs on this particular part of the road. As you can see, it's fairly flat and fairly straight, and idiots will be idiots. Adam, I'm heading off. Uh, it's gone midnight. I crashed uh, trying to fly inverted. F-22 said no, no. Right, so I'm back on East USA. Um, good night there, Adam, or Mr. Cool Monkey. Um, good to have you flying with me again, and have a great night. Must be getting late there, actually. Oh, must be early in the morning now. Bingo Bongo is ahead of me. Okay, Icarus, Danger Bird. You know, there's a lot of people on East. I'd say West is having trouble and probably why people are not on it. I think there's a railway line next to uh, the road here from memory. Get down there by the trees. Absolutely. That's where I should be. buzz some of these trucks oh I remember cops used to sit at the end of that straight not that I ever got caught by them <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I did some stupid runs uh, really fast down here on a motorcycle uh, once or twice uh, late at night. Um, always a pleasure, Brett. Uh, yep, 12 17 a.m. or 0, 0, 0017, yep, uh, just a bit early. Yeah, well, I try to get it so that you guys can um, come and join by starting at 9am myself. I could potentially start earlier, which would make it easier for you guys, but it makes it even harder for those who uh, have gotten up in WA. Thanks, Sean. Uh, Mr. Flying Frog, or Banjo Frog. If you haven't seen his channel, The Flying Frog, check it out. Uh, yes, the railway line uh, is the Melbourne... Look <laughs> at Danger Bird. Good on you. Uh, Melbourne to Sydney line. Uh, 
Ah, oh, this is what Vruden likes. Yeah, down low. I'm just trying not to clip any of the trees. Also, um, what is this tree mod? What what does it do? I've seen a few there where people have got it so it's removed some trees. <clears throat> does it make them look better? Uh, does it make them country appropriate? Does it make them not uh, 100 foot tall trees? Admittedly though, uh, there are a lot of trees around this area, probably more so in the middle of the road. Um, they use a lot of the trees to divide uh, the two lanes there so that you can use your high beam at night. So it's pretty much um, blocked off from the other direction, which is good. What's, uh, did you, did you, um, there's Banjo Frog, I got him. Hey, so by changing back, I can see you now, Sean. What am I using? Am I using the right fuel tank? I am it's at half. So time to, oh, that would be the wrong way. Yep, <clears throat> time to swap back to a left fuel tank. There's Banjo Frog, I can see him. National Highway 1. Not overly um, pretty looking. I don't think you can get over some of these bridges. Hmm. Let's climb a little and see what it should look like. Oh, I realise I didn't have my prop pitch all the way up. Water? What water do we have out here? That's not Lake Ilden, is it? Hmm. I don't know about that. Um... Bruden, you can turn the trees down to high or even medium because it has the draw. It has to draw a hundred thousand of them in 3D. The difference it makes in the frame rate is amazing. Oh, I'll give that a try. <clears throat> it has to draw a hundred thousand of them. Woohoo! Oh, there is an airport there. What is this water here? I might have to look that up on the map. Oh. What is that? Waranga Basin. Near Shepparton. Okay. Maybe. Or is it the water next to Benalla? But that's only a, like a, a smaller one. Hang on, what else have we got out here? I'd say it is... It's a lot closer than I was expecting. No, I'd say it's that patch of water on my map north of north of Benella. Wow, I didn't even know it was that big. Okay. Alright, let's go down for another look. It does look fairly familiar. I have driven this area. There's Icarus and a P40. Don't know why it doesn't show up, but um, I do have other liveries for that too. Uh, some I've downloaded and some I haven't. Uh, the, uh, uh, at this altitude, it doesn't matter what the um, resin of trees and bushes uh, even is. Uh, it's still trying to draw them as if you're standing there two feet away from them. Does it? Yeah, well, that's a bit of a waste. 
All right, so where do I get this mod from? Is that up there? There's Banjo Frog. Is he in his PC 21? Yes, he is. Did he get the autopilot working on that? I doubt. Roundabout? Oh, no, that's a um, turning off lane. I'm thinking there's no way there's a roundabout there. Is that a substation? Wow. Okay. I'd say it's right about this point out of Melbourne that I'm like, I think I need to find a bathroom. Especially if I've left nice and early from my mother's place, uh, had something to eat and had a coffee, or a travel coffee, so it's extra large, and you're driving out and you've been going for a few hours and you go, ooh, I think I need to find a decent tree <laughs> or something. Um... But there are some stops on the way, but most of them are further back. Um, and they have pit toilets. I, I'm not a fan of pit toilets. Fine when you're camping and that's all you can get. But, um, yeah. Are we still climbing? Yeah, we are. Hold it there, thank you. Oh, what a pile it was off. Okay. We'll follow the road. National Highway 1. We're going to get ourselves all the way up to the New South Wales border. Let's put that back on there. Again, a uh, dunny, not a bathroom. Drew. Wow. <clears throat> I didn't know you'd know what I was talking about if I said I needed a dunny. Um, don't always have to have a dunny. Just a tree will do the works, but not when you've got your missus in the car. Actually, it's fine for me, but it's not fine for her. Where are we here? I don't know. Oh, this looks familiar. And there's normally a huge service station somewhere up here on the side of the road. Yeah, there's probably a few less trees here too, normally. Well, you can certainly see there's a different satellite picture we're going over here. There it is. Truck stop. Well, that's not very big. Ah, there it is there. Right. So they've got services both sides. You can uh, go in and get takeaway. I don't know. There's probably a McDonald's or something in there. Um... Lots of parking, lots of buildings. <clears throat> yeah, been there many a time. Uh, don't want to bathe in those rooms. <laughs> Inspector, mate, welcome. No, you really do not. Uh, bathroom's the polite way of putting it. Uh, loo, dunny, outhouse. Uh, I'm not going to say the S word with it, but you know. Um, you said uh, it has an autopilot and my ears perked up. Uh, this particular plane? Yes, yes. So I have autopilot. Uh, I have... So let's go autopilot. Heading control hold. Altitude hold or nav. So I can actually put it onto GPS and it will... Hang on. Oh, did I turn it back off? There we go. Now I've got it um, turned off. So, yeah, autopilot. Um, even in this version. So there is a uh, fully screened version. So it has the um, the Garmin... Is it 3000? Um, so I've got autopilot heading. Can you... Altitude hold. Oh, it wants to take me back onto the path because I've got my uh, nav on. Yeah, there we go. So, over there's the Hume. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I learned Australian through flight simmers. Oh, mate. I feel sorry for you. Because surely we uh, are not the best example. Well, some of us. <laughs> yes. 
Donnie. Or the crapper. But I think crapper is from a manufacturer of porcelain uh, porcelain uh, seats that you go and have a poop on. PC21 AP broken. Yeah, your AP is broken. Mine's not. So I'm actually hands-free. And I can turn uh, with degrees on my control. So let's go left. Nope, it's going to make a liar of me. Click on the screen might help. Oh, am I on nav? Or am I even on autopilot? Oh, I turned it off. It was just flying level. You idiot, Brett. It's just flying level. Oh, I really think I'm going down low there. Better turn that back off. I'm really liking this plane. Uh, there is a tail dragger, there's ones with touch screens, so there's four models. Let's get you on heading and control. There we go. And try and follow the highway as much as possible. McStars, the pilot says hello. McStars, hello. Welcome. Don't take your hands off the controls. <laughs> it's a Tesla, isn't it? You can take your hands off. Look, Mum, no hands. Oh, she hates it when you do that. Uh, PC21 rudder sticks full left. Is there an issue with it? Did it work properly to start off with? Rudin, mate, did you just crash? Did you just land your P41 down there? I think you did. Oh, let's get over some of these trees. Sit up higher in our chair. Now, I don't like how most roads, even in the US when I was there, and the US has some pretty good detail, um, but even the roads there, when you fly really low, they get washed out like this as well. But hey, it is a Microsoft Flight Simulator, not Microsoft Drive Simulator. Supposedly. Although, it, sometimes it's Microsoft Crash Simulator. Uh, you can get it on flightsim.to. Yes. I like how you put that in, .to, because uh, links are not um, allowed in here. Yeah, yeah. Geez, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> what scared the crap out of me? No hands. Look, Mo. No hands. I used to do that on my motorbike. I used to take my mum on the back of my motorbike. Uh, took her one time. Whoa! I'm guessing a Hot Rod is back. Yes, he is. I took my mum one time uh, uh, back there somewhere uh, around Melbourne on the back of my motorcycle. I had a GSX 1100 uh, F model. So not the R. R is a racy one. I had an F. Uh... I don't know what F stands for, probably fairing actually. Um, but I had one with 1988 with um, an automatic uh, windscreen, like electric windscreen that could tuck into the fairing. So you could uh, get going and lower yourself and it would just hit over your helmet at the right height, which was really nice. Um, can you just hold straight there? Thank you. And um, short round says, how fast is the plane you're flying? Uh, I think maximum I've had it is about 218 uh, knots uh, ground speed. So, wait, are we doing 111 knots at the moment? All right, let's just push this a little faster. Is it updated on my um, screen? It is. Seriously, girls, you want... You want us to go and check out your thing? Bring pizza. So, members, smash the pizza icon and tell them that we want pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Thank you, Luke, for jumping onto that before I could even see it. So, um, 
200 airspeed is indicated here, still in the yellow. Uh, it will go just slightly over, but I think the gauge kind of stops around about there. Um, let me just watch the fuel. Yeah, we're good. I think I'm still climbing, am I? Yeah, I am. Let's just hold it there, thank you. So you're probably looking at, in the RV, about 200, 200 and a bit uh, knots. Thank you, Sean, for smashing pizza icon. And to tell the bots that, hey, if you're going to jump onto my stream, you got to bring pizza. Because we, we're not interested in your, your whatever you got. We're interested in the pizza. It kind of looks like a golf course thing. But, and they're also digging a decent hole there. There's another one of those uh, pull-in areas so trucks can park and sleep overnight. It's pretty good. The, the Australian um, Highway does have a fair chunk of uh, rest stops, which is nice. And, and look, to be honest, I'm so looking forward to that someone ever does all of Australia. I mean, it's huge, but all of Australia on um, um, Australian truck sim, that'd be awesome. Thank you, Drew. Thank you, Two Mops. Hey, Two Mops. G'day, mate. Um, and thanks for the pizza icons. Cool. Made that especially for the bots. All right, let's hold altitude there. Thank you. What are we? Just over 2,000? Uh, ground speed says I'm doing 111 knots. That can't be right. Are we doing 111 knots? Ground speed. Do we have that much of a headwind? Is that why it's taking so long? Wow. Oh, you can see a different satellite picture there. Look at that. One was taken uh, in summer and one was not. Oh, it looks burnt. Oh, hot rod, banjo frogs down there. Who else we still got? Icarus is somewhere back there. He kind of crashed his P40 into the ground. I don't know if he's trying to land there to use their uh, loos, dunnies, whatever you want to call them. I also do have nav, so if I press... Which one is it? That one there, I think. It should automatically... So I'm hands off at the moment. It should automatically take me back towards uh, Waimei, which is actually where we're going to be landing next. So, I am following the Hume, but we need to get in here to the airport. Look at that. I'm loving this plane. Don't know if I'll take it the whole way, though. Uh, fuel... We're fine. We've got heaps of fuel. We should have actually done. How much uh, of the flight is left? Not a lot. So let me show you. Um, there we go. So Waimei is actually our final destination. So uh, we're not very far from it. Uh, I might follow more of the highway first. Uh, this is not the outer skirts of Wodonga. This is this is something else. Wodonga and Aubrey are the twin cities uh, of um, the New South Wales border here. So Wodonga is on the Victorian side. Um, I think that's Chilton that we just passed. Yeah. So we'll go over Wodonga. We get across the Murray River. Murray River is what splits the... Uh, um, Victoria New South Wales border so you can see this water here that's what actually splits the two states uh, for a lot of it but not all of it there's uh, another section there that just has a straight line as well so we will follow this and then we'll make our way to Waimei danger birds still there cool Icarus is in the air again yep Hot Rod's doing well with that uh, C-17 there.
All right, I'm, I, yeah, so back to the plane. I'm enjoying this one. So I've got the analog screen version because oh, I don't know, it just looks great. Um, I'm showing 15 minutes to run. Yeah, that'd be about right. Uh, I really do recommend the 337. I know you said you want to save some money, but it's such a nice plane. Yeah, I came that close to buying it last night. Um, yeah, I, I'm kind of hoping that uh, with this month's uh, YouTube earnings on ad revenue, um, that I can buy a streaming deck. Um, so that would like before when I'm about to sneeze, I can just go mute and not sneeze uh, and or press that it changes uh, screen uh, to mute and uh, look in somewhere else because I don't want to um, sneeze on screen if I can help it. But um, yeah, so I've got to get just enough of that. I mean, I can afford the 15 button one. Um, so the three rows, but people are telling me get the four with the extra thing. So I don't know if it's 20 or 25 buttons or 30 or whatever. I think it's 30, um, which gives you more options. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm just holding tight. I already bought several planes this month um, in February. I bought the, um, the Mitsubishi Zero. Um, I bought the the Yak Nine. Uh, what server are you on? I am on East USA today. I know it says in the description that I'm on West, but East USA because West was having um, problems. Can we actually just heading first? There we go. Holding the heading. Um, so we had to change. Oh, excuse me. Um, because we actually couldn't, uh, oh, look at the shadow there. That is not my shadow. There we go. That looks awesome. Uh, we couldn't see each other. Nobody could see each other. Yeah, I love fly flying the East Coast. Um, for some reason, I got a 23 ping, MS ping, so millisecond, um, and 138 to 180 something uh, on... Um, West Coast, so West Coast is struggling, maybe. Uh, hey, there's Inspector. There he is, a TB9. Um, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, so we, we jumped over to um, East Coast, and I, look, I had one go back at uh, West Coast, and I saw one or two people, and then they disappeared. So don't know. Um, so we've stuck on east the whole time. So not normally. All right, we are at Wodonga. Wodonga is the Victorian side of the twin town of uh, Aubrey Wodonga. Um, they do have now, though, this, this main road we're following, which is now National Highway 1, uh, bypasses right through with a... Uh, it's basically like a highway with large walls that just go straight through town. So instead of going out and around, it goes right through and there's a couple of exits. Which I think is actually pretty cool. National Highway 1. Uh, it looks like one of these bridges here, maybe all of them, is actually going over the Murray River, which I think is this twin one coming up. Now, back in the 70s, these little islands down here that I'm just flying over now um, were fruit fly inspection um, area. And you had to actually present your car to make sure that you weren't bringing in uh, fruit or vegetables into uh, Victoria. Oops, that's not the button I wanted. I want that one and that one. Thank you. Um, which is really amazing that, that people thought that uh, they could stop a fly from flying across uh, a river and they thought that that would uh, contain the fruit fly from one side to the other. I think it was Victoria because they got a lot of um, fruit growing crops, uh, seed, seed crops and they wanted to stop as much as possible. It didn't. Uh, I waited the whole stream to watch him bugger his landing. 
<laughs> Thanks. What? I, I did it last landing, I buggered it. Um, why do you have to wait the whole thing? What I probably should do is learn which way the uh, wind's coming from. It's a long runway, but I'm actually going to drop it quickly and then bring it up. There we go. I do need to see. Oh, look, I am way too high. Oh, there was a little bit of a delay. What happened there? Can we get it on the third? There you go. How was that, Vruden? I think that actually come in quite smooth. No bounce. We will take up the uh, flaps already. Thank you. Put that prop pitch back up. Very nice. I was happy with that. All right, parallel planes is already down. Mate, will you been flying with me the whole time, or did you just pop in? The suspense is killing me. <laughs> All right, Danger Bird and Hot Rod are coming in. I won't be able to see Danger Bird quite as well, but Hot Rod definitely uh, lights up the uh, skies with that huge bird. Can we zoom in a bit? Oh, nice. Can't see the landing gear into... No, I still can't see the landing gear. All right. Danger Bird. PC-21. Drops out of the sky. Bounce and bounce and down. Okay, a couple of bounces. Uh, looks like I came in on a headwind, so that made it a lot easier. Uh, less crosswind. That was a 6 out of 10. Too fast, missed the center line. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, I knew I came in too fast. Center line? Yeah. Hey, two moths is coming in on a C125. Uh, I've come the wrong angle. Whoa. I have never rolled this one. I was going to say, I've come in the wrong angle. I'm going to have to buff that out. Maybe we'll. Uh, leave it here and they can get it repaired and I'll uh, choose a another plane next week probably will actually choose another plane next week okay so off turn off the batteries and lights thank you Put the fuel into off. Which probably could have actually just done that anyway. And put those back to uh, stock and unlock. Two mops are still coming in. Icarus is coming in. Let's get the canopy open as well. All right, cool. Let the guys out. There we go. Look at the pink screen there because it's off all right very nice plane i think we have an ai going there do we no that's somebody else coming in all right two mops let's see if we can at least see your landing no too slow icarus came in nice and fast two mops is doing a nice hover six out of ten there Vruden. it's pretty harsh but you know what i'll accept six out of ten Oh. Oh. Okay, there might have been a little bit of hiccup with the internet there. So, another great flight. Thanks all, says Sean. 5 out of 10. Oh, I usually miss all the chat. <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh, I enjoyed the stream, though. Thank you. Um, I've also I just hopped in for the last few minutes flying a 337. Yeah, I I'll look at it. I definitely want it. I like the idea of it. Uh, it looked like I bounced on yours. I'm not sure if that's a landing gear glitch. I actually think you might have just um, landed it with the landing gear glitch. Uh, sorry, with the landing gear not showing. Um, but we are down. Thank you very much. So this is Aubrey. Aubrey is now in New South Wales. So 
depending on the plane that I fly, we might see if we can get all the way to Sydney Airport. Uh, if not, we might... Um, I'm not sure Canberra is on National Highway 1. We'd have to divert off uh, at Yass or something like that. But um, welcome to New South Wales, everybody. And look at this is this is the town of Aubrey. It's actually fairly populated. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Sean, mate. I don't know why that's not working. What I might need to do is my Streamlabs updated this morning. Just before the stream, I let it update. It may need to go and collect all the new commands that are in there. But other than that, everybody, thank you very much for flying with me. That was a lot of fun. Uh, same time next week, but I am doing my long road home tomorrow. We're flying the Baja Peninsula. Short rounds are running around his TB21. Uh, and I'm doing a Route 66 flight on Thursday morning. And you are all welcome. I'm going to try the Corsair. I've not tried it a lot. Um, we'll see if we crash that a few times. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Have a great night, day, whatever it might be. Cheers all.